Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I know we're a bit behind. <laughs> also, I've been getting a lot of emails of you guys wanting spell work. I will be uploading tons of new videos for spell work. I do want to apologize. We've been extremely backed up with consultations and working on uh, personal clients cases. So again, uh, you guys know spell work videos is time consuming a bit, especially when we are uh, extremely busy right now. So again, I will go back to uploading spell videos for you guys. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button so that you can get the uh, newest updates of all the videos going up. For those of you guys that have been writing with us for a very long time, well, not that long, but from the beginning. <laughs> welcome, welcome, my lovelies. Okay, let's get into your reading Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. Aquarius, we're starting off with the Ten of Wands. Two of Cups, the Hierophant, the Judgment, Strength card, and the Princess of Swords. Okay. Alrighty, my lovelies. So, you may be dealing with this situation when we're talking about partnerships or relationships where you were emotionally invested in a connection with the Ten of Wands, it could be speaking about feeling overburdened or having a lot of responsibilities going on right now. Um, for some of you guys, it could even represent um, getting to getting to an ending cycle of some type of struggle when we're talking about relationships. Now, the Two of Cups can represent a partnership, a relationship, um, emotional investment in a connection with the Hierophant. This is talking about commitment. This is talking about longevity. Uh, with the judgment card, I feel that for those of you guys that have been in separation or some type of distancing um, with a partner, I, I feel that there is a revisiting of that connection. Um, again, if it was them, the ones that pulled away or that created some type of uh, giving each other some space, some breakup, uh, separation or something like that, um, they're definitely coming back around and they're coming back around expecting some type of higher commitment. Uh, they're definitely willing to put in the work. I feel that for some of you guys, um, <clears throat> if you have recently gone through a separation or a breakup, they're definitely stalking you. They're definitely looking at your social medias. Uh, they're looking at what you're doing or asking um, asking about you to those that uh, know you or to those that they're aware are around you. Um, here's the thing, though. What they're telling you here is, for this month of June, it's going to be very important for you to remain in your power, Aquarius. So what I mean by that is if you were dealing with the connection where the partner was the one that walked away, they're coming back around. Um, and the reason why they're coming back around is because with the Ten of, of Wands, it could represent that they are coming from a struggle, some type of connection or some type of commitment that they got themselves in where kind of like the scenario of the grass was not greener on the other side and they're coming back around trying to rekindle uh, this connection. With the strength card, what they're telling you is stand your ground, know your worth, um, know that you don't come to second, uh, or sorry, know and understand that you, you're not in second place. If they're not willing to put you in first place, don't even waste your time. And I know that that's something I shouldn't have to tell Aquarians. Um, but they're definitely saying here that there is a need to release uh, some type of cycle. So again, if you've been dealing with a situation where uh, you guys keep breaking up, coming back together, breaking up, coming back together, they're telling you it's time to let go of this energy so that you can fully embrace a new beginning and a more stable relationship that's coming through. There's a decision to be made. And I feel that the decision that's going to be made the ball is in your court. So it comes down to what it is that you really want. If it's something that you don't want to deal with anymore, where you're constantly not knowing what it is that they want, or if they're investing 100%, or they're only half-assing it, and the moment they get distracted, they pull away, then is it really worth it? Now, for others of you, you could be dealing with feeling that you're currently going through a cycle where it feels as if nothing is going your way and 
what we're talking about here is, so I'm hearing karma. For some of you guys, you could have been in a long-term committed relationship where you still have not fully moved on. Uh, you could have been dealing with the Taurus, with the Leo, um, with a Gemini or Libra. Um, I do see fire energy here, so Aries, Sagittarius type of energy, but those are just energies. What they're saying here is if you have been dealing with not fully being able to embrace an ending that concluded a while ago and you're still holding on to anger or to resentment um, because you feel like the person gave up on you, it's time to take a quick look in the mirror. Um, they're telling you here, you know, when it comes to relationships, it takes two people to make it work, not just one. So you can't sit there and point the finger at someone saying that they gave up or that they gave up on you and feel resentment towards them when you were emotionally unavailable while you guys were in a relationship. So this is kind of like taking your power back and understanding that was it really their fault 100%. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's almost this energy that I'm sensing like I'm refusing to accept that I had something to do with the breakup. If a person was, quote unquote, giving up on you, were they giving up on you because you pushed them to that, to get to that point? Do you see what I'm saying? It's about reflecting. It's about understanding, like I said, that it takes two people to work a relationship out. You can't sit there and be upset at someone giving up when all you did in the relationship was push them, push them away showing them that you weren't emotionally invested or that you weren't willing to meet them halfway or that you weren't willing to um, willing to put in the work to make the relationship work. Um, and again, it could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. So if you're connecting more to you were the one that continuously kept putting effort in this connection and in this relationship with the judgment card, they may be coming back around. But what they're telling you here is, did you learn your lesson? Because if you're willing to embrace a person that left you hanging dry and not hesitating and thinking about your feelings, why would you want them back in your life? So it's about self-reflection and it's about self-love and staying in your power and knowing that you deserve to be treated better, that you deserve someone that is going to commit to you not the status quo, but that is going to commit to you the way you expect them to commit to you, the way you are willing to commit to them. For others of you, again, like I said, I heard karma. So it could represent for some of you guys, you're refusing to learn a lesson and you keep going through this ending cycle of being more attracted to those that are chaotic in their lives, that have a lot of growing up to do. And you get quickly bored with those that are willing to give you the effort, the stability. And it's something that you need to ask yourself, what is it about you that is attracted to the chaos or that is attracted to the difficult? There is choices to be made for this month. What they're telling you is get to the bottom of the issue when we're talking about relationships, Aquarius. And when I say get to the bottom of it, don't, don't sit there and say, yeah, I'm extremely attracted to people that are emotionally unavailable because they're strong, because they, they ignite this passion within me. Like there is a deeper rooted issue here. And when you address that, you heal that part of you so that you can fully be able to move forward. Keep in mind, we just experienced the full moon eclipse in Scorpio. And eclipses usually affect us for the next coming six months. And your north and south node are being ignited. They're being empowered. So it's about shedding the old or letting go of the old of karmic cycles and moving towards your destiny with your north node. 
So again, there is some type of behavior here that you need to get to the root of it to be able to move forward towards your destiny, towards what you're, you're destined, towards your happiness, towards your fulfillment. There's almost like a, like an inner struggle within you. You're wanting commitment, you're wanting uh, stability, the status quo, but then the other part of you wants the freedom, wants the instability, wants the difficult. It's about finding the balance. All right, my lovelies. All right, so I'm going to be pulling out an oracle card. Let's see what spirits. Oh, and we have number 26. And again, 26 is all about secrets. It's about the unknown. It's hidden knowledge, hidden knowledge of the memory. So hidden knowledge of the memory represents past lives. It represents karma. It represents everything that we, on a subconscious level, are aware of, but not on a conscious level. We don't understand why we do the things we do, but there is a reason behind that. There is a purpose of why we're drawn to people that are exciting. And we get quickly bored with people that are stable. It is about remembering It is about understanding what needs, what experiences you have overcame, what you need to shed or let go of to fully be able to embrace this destiny, this lifetime. All right, my lovelies, very heavy messages here for you guys. Um, Scorpio had a lot of this uh, type of energy. So if you're dealing with the Scorpio, you may want to watch their video. Um, heavy, heavy energy. And when we're talking about past lives and karma, uh, Scorpio was one of the uh, message or one of the signs that got a lot of those messages as well. So I hope this gives you insight. I hope it gives you some type of understanding and I wish you guys the very best. We'll see each other soon. Bye.